procrastinators, welcome to the walk around of the HMS HMS. Uh, if you're just jumping in on this video, um, here is a link boop, to the first video of the making of, of this, how I made this ship. If you care, if not, don't click that. Um, if you care, click it. Um, so, okay, that's gone. Welcome to the HMS HMS. Uh, it's a little bit big, a little bit big. Um, this ship took uh, about oh, three hours of time, eight let's plays, three, eight, about, yeah, about a day, probably about a whole 24 hour day to build. Nourishing lows. So, this is the main deck. Um, yeah, the gate. I'll generally walk through the features of it. This is going to be stupidly detailed and a bit wittery because I tend to edit myself this time. I'm not editing myself, I'm just going to go on a run. Um, not an actual run, but you know. So we have these, because if I remember rightly, boats have things like holes, little holes in them, and I couldn't work out a way of doing it that was, that looked good, and I like these little trenches. Sort of just as a way of, if you have any water that laps on the deck, it can roll off without anything happening. Without the boat capsizing, which is quite nice. Um, little posts everywhere to tie ropes around, and whoop, up onto the sails. Chests everywhere, because, you know, you need to keep stuff. Your fence here, I don't know, I just needed the detail of that. I think I needed the detail of it. Uh, the very edge of the ship. Look, no hands. Um, I will not quote Titanic, I will not quote Titanic. Nice front view here. I like how this ship is, you can see it well from here, the, the ship is so big that even on far, the back starts drifting off into the fog. Uh, <laughs> so we have the two front sails. Oh, looking pretty. We have the main sail with uh, the creeper with an eye patch on his face, as suggested by someone. I think someone with the Dragon Ball Z name. I don't quite remember. Up oh, there's a crow's nest. Let's go and play with that. More trenches. You can actually see out the water in the trenches. Um, the way I built this, this is simply just I like, cut the wood out and put some stairs in to get the effect. Uh, let's go up, up, up. The ziggurat looks be split. It's quite red dwarf. Uh, this is in the clouds really high crow's nest because otherwise you wouldn't see anything dun, dun, dun. so here we are this is the view from up here so this is uh, the second bit of the main sail and so yeah you, I'll jump up here because it's whoa hope you don't know vertigo so yeah you get a nice view of the big main sails or the secondary sails whatever they're called I don't know boat things um, you have yeah, sails, boat, stuff. I don't know boat terminology. <laughs> All right, that was close. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so here we have a pen. If you have any animals or anything that you take on your journey, or anything particularly rowdy, you can go in there. Uh, this is a spinny thing to get the anchor in, although it doesn't spin. So. It's we don't have an anchor, so yeah. <laughs> problems. Do the problems in the order they arrive. This is a trapdoor that you can throw prisoners down that goes right into the very bowels of the ship into the prison. I'll show you that later. That's a great sound, mate. <laughs> There'll be an auto tuned remix of that on YouTube in a minute. <laughs> up, but up, but up, but up. So this is the main steering wheel of the ship. Yeah. So this is where you steer from. Can't see a thing, to be perfectly honest, because there's sails in the way. But I don't think that gets, you know, the, the guy who's up on the crow's nest who can't hear because there's a sail in the way, he'll shout for you. He'll shout for you. Um, yeah, this is sort of like a little back area, more little trenchy things. Nice glass panel to view. Look at the little island. I love that little island. I'm gonna go and explore. Another sail. Uh, a little seating area so you can sit out and watch your people work. If you happen to be the captain. Well, or you can skive off work if you're not. Oops, going night time, so we should get in. Uh, this place is a little dark, so it, it, if you're playing, if you want to have a play on this, and it's night time, make sure you're playing on peaceful. If you want to go around um, unmolested, as it were. Uh, so this is the main captain's room. This is the captain's debriefing table, where he'll sit around in his nice big chair up here and tell people why they're stupid. A uh, little chatting area for casual chats, some books. Uh, oh yeah, I better say this now, that the pictures in 1.8 don't work. 
for some reason. You need to light them from above or something. So this is supposed to be two maps of the area, but it's not. Here's another map. So you can... Ooh, stuff, because this looks like a map. But it's not. It's just a table covered in bogeys. Um, bogeys are adhesive. That's a nice orange view. We'll come back. So, into the depths of the ship. One of many ways into the ship. Uh, there's another way to get in here. Which is through these doors that were here. Leads to this floor. This floor contains the moon. Uh, this is a nice big bedroom. Nice table. Bookshelves and things. And exactly the same on this side. I'm going to show you one half of the ship. Just assume that the other half is identical. Because otherwise the ship would fall over and nobody wants that. Oh, then that's not the right way at all. I have to go through here. To get down to the decks, if you can see where the cursor is, there's a door there. That's the like front entrance and exit, or stub, the way it starts left, port, front, front of the ship. Aft? Is aft back or front? Starboard port, aft or by one of them. Is bow one? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's the front entrance and this is the back staircase to get to stuff. Uh, chest. In here we have uh, sort of a, a learned person's room. Lots of books and the like. Same on that side. I'm going to stop saying same on that side. That's where we came from. Right, this is a staircase leading down to the next floor. So this is a spiral staircase that goes all the way down to the bottom floors. Okay, we're going to ignore that. Here we have the big cannon room. Uh, they're all gates. The way the cannons work are little repeat switches with these are full of arrows. The dispensers are full of arrows. So... Uh, I was going to set them flamey, but I burnt the ship down a few times in bits I never showed um, and had to reload. So uh, they're not flamey anymore. So when you flick the switch, it turns the repeater on and you get a stream of arrows. If you flick all of them on, then you'll be firing quite a lot of arrows. Um, and you can change these to change the firing speed. So if you want to fire faster, then you get more people to do it. Quite good for role playing servers, I think. Uh, that's an exit where I'll show you later. But. Um, we go around here for now. Uh, this is a few sets of rooms. So this is a little bunk rooms. There's quite a lot of bunks on this floor. This floor is essentially the bunk floor. And then this side of the room with just the, the two bunks. Well, yeah, four beds, two bunks. A lot of these kind of rooms. Uh, yep, again, lots of nice bunks things. Um, I sort of, I designed this sort of thinking about how it would be used and I thought that if you're going to be operating the cannons quite a lot that this will be the floor that you want the most people on just that's and this is closest to the surface as well so you'd want more people up there as well so I did bunks on this floor and no bunks elsewhere and so that was the exit I said I'd show you later so it comes out here go around um, I technically could move that over and then have a room there but uh, maybe a bit of space is good Here's some uh, really compact bunk rooms. Uh, we've got chests outside because you can't fit them inside. And people need their stuff. And uh, a slightly bigger one. All these beds you can sleep in. You can even sleep in these ones. It's just, if you sleep in these top ones, I will warn you now, chances are you're going to be stuck in the ceiling for quite some time. Unless you smash your way out. Uh, this is a slightly smaller one. Nice view of outside. Bunk. Again, the same set of four bunks. Uh, if you want to have the bunks, they're in the in the Let's Play in the most recent episode, so episode eight. I explain how you can build bunks like that. How you can ditch the game to make that work. Just a nice room full of chests for people's stuff and you know stuff for people's chests. I don't know. I'm not good at talking constantly for a while. Uh, just a basic little room quite a nice posh one it's just for a, a pirate couple uh, a big I claimed this was a sleepover room yeah I don't know either uh, right so this is let me show you this up here now that's pretty okay so this is on this mast this is all you'd get down I'm playing on peaceful so no one's going to attack me but this thing fills up now don't know why just does monsters everywhere right so we have two bathrooms, well, toilets. It drops out into the, the sea, but you can use the flush button. And that's the same on that side. So again, same on the other side. If there's any differences, I will let you know. 
uh, just a little room with a little fish tank that I decided to have. I don't know why. It was a long corridor bit and couldn't work out what to do with it. So, fish tank. No fish in it. Because um, I fell into a crack. Oh no, that was ducks. Yep, another room. Boop. Ooh, I spun around way too fast and I've lost myself. Okay. Um, it's fine. Just we're in those two rooms coming out here. Uh, just two treasure chests. Right, this bit's slightly different. So on this side, you can see we've got two doors on the first one and the third one. And on this side, we've got the doors on the second one. On the, oh, because I've counted from the wrong side. The first one and the third one, no doors. So the second and the fourth. But they're, they're identical rooms. So the rooms look like this. So pictures and chests. So we're getting lower down, so there's no bunks anymore. Because there's less people needed down here. So this is just rooms full of... Beds and beds and beds and beds. And some more beds. Uh, this is the dining room. This is a, a sushi bar, apparently. That's what my brain told me. And this is the big main desk. So this is when everybody can come and eat. We've got the kitchen here. So all the stoves for nomming food. And uh, a little hatch for passing food out. Or maybe running a bank, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought all of this through. Uh, a little storage room here for where you can keep food and things. Dun, 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 dun. See, this is the staircase that was on about. This is the spiral staircase that goes all the way down. Uh, uh, a little room here to keep all the um, keep some chests in. Storage room. Just three little beds. I tried to make. While I was doing this, I tried to make every single room as different as possible. And it was tricky. It was tricky. Um, rooms are, uh, uh, you know, because this does look a little bit different. And I made all the rooms different shapes and sizes. Because otherwise it would just be a bit boring and easy. Same on that side. So, down we go. This is now the third floor, second, third, whatever. Nice big room here with a big pile of books, uh, lots of chests, so I don't know, someone with a big, <laughs> I was about to say big chest, something, big chest. oh good god, stop talking me! Um, oh, this is a, yeah, this is a little um, room for furnace work, so forging new tools and stuff. So, you know, you got to be self-sufficient when you're out in the big sea, so here's a nice furnace room with some chests to keep the furnace related stuff in. I'll actually show the other side, because the other side's a little different here. On this side we have the carpentry room. So it's exactly the same layout, just with carpentry stuff. So you should be able to keep going on your travels. If we swap sides, it doesn't matter. On here we have a nice little room with a chair, little table. And roughly the same, the chest instead of the table. Oh, the chest I'm trying to get inside apparently. Going down here, we have the same sets of small rooms, but we have them lined up like that, instead of bunk beds. And again like that. And again like that. And again like that. And again like that. <laughs> and again like that. So they're all just chest and bed, so everybody's got a chest. Everybody's got a bed. And here we have just two sharing. Uh, Nice little interesting shaped room with three of them. Come on, you. Uh, a laundromat for doing your laundry, because we want to empower it to do laundry. Um, and that's it. Uh, up these stairs. Oop -a -doop -a -doop. Let me see where I came out here. So, down we go. And then through here, we go down again to the next floor. So, in here, we have uh, a bath. With a shower nozzle for showering. Psh, you know what a shower is. And uh, that's the actual water level. So be wary of that. Be wary of sharks biting you while you use that toilet. Um, another little room with a chair that's fused into the wall. Some random beds and chests. Again, the sets of three. These are a little bit longer. Books in this one. Educated. Dorm roomy, that one looks like. Yep, again that way around. Yep, you got all that. Oh, I ran. We have, yep, stuff. 
you can see, I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. Uh, that's one of my favourite rooms because you get this, like, that's the water level. And this room's just tucked away and under. It's quite nice. Uh, you may have noticed like this column in the middle on all the floors and that's the, the, the thing you sort of start where you can drop the prisoners through. That's what that is. Uh, another little room. I think this is the first room I designed. That means I'm right near the end. Which is good. And chests for designing. This is the bottom of that staircase. You need to come down here. Yeah. Sorry, my brother was like, have I done it all? Have I sorted it all out? Yes, I have. This is a room that I was going to decorate and entirely haven't. It's just sort of a corridor room bit. I didn't really know what to do. Oh, jump cut. I've decided that this is going to be a little seating area here and a little stool area here. Okay, so come through the doors, staircase here, we'll be on the other side, whatever. So you have that there. A seat and a little table there. Down here. This is the area that you could have dropped. So there's the hole, you can see a little slither of light there. That's where you would have dropped um, if you would uh, fallen down the bit on the deck. So you'd come down here, the water breaks most of your fall, you'll still lose about six or seven hearts. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is where you'd come. This is the prison area. It's the same on the other side. I'll quickly go and show you that. I'll cross this deck. You see, this is why I put... Because this ship is so big, that's why I put the, the bunks at the top floor. So it's quicker to get around. So this one doesn't have a door. But again, another view of the prison is Yeah, that fills up with monsters so quickly. I have a lot of spider prisoners. And that is it. That's the entirety of the ship. Uh, let's go back up to the top. To the surface. Uh, either, as I've said before, there's the Let's Plays that I did where I'll show you how I built this. They're edited, so you don't have to sit through or anything. Um, the weather is horrible here. So yeah, so this this is the, the gorgeous, wonderful HMS HMS, which is the name of the ship. And it's raining. It's running over there. Oh, it's running over here. There we go, rain. So yeah, this is the HMS HMS. Uh, it's a beautiful ship. It's glorious. It's gorgeous. In fact, hang on. Fly! And also turn the rain off. So yeah, this is it in all its glory. I'll turn off the HUD as well. So that was a walkthrough of the HMS HMS. Uh, this shit, you can download this. This map is in the description. Just click a button and you can download this entire map. Uh, I've also got a giant statue of a zombie in a pit. He's Frank, he's from my comic. And a blown up house. Watch the let's plays, you'll understand why that's blown up. Oh, and that's the HMS Awesome. Yep. <laughs> if any of this was entertaining to you, please watch the let's plays. Um, but not that long. It's the best thing I can say about them. They're not quite. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> I made a whoosh sound. Ooh, Hollywood. So yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, yeah, nighttime view. How about that? That wasn't even a jump cut. I pushed a button. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is the. It's one of the coolest things I've ever built. Full interior wonderful wonderful ship even if I do say so myself uh, give it a download give it a play and yeah enjoy it um, if you I, I built these by request someone actually suggested a pirate ship with working cannon which is what I've built um, so if you have anything you want me to build I'm taking requests now next week I'm going to start a huge new build up um, so yeah let me know what you want Let's go over there. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, I love mapping buttons. Let's just end on that shot, because I think this is the best angle of that shit. So, yep, in the comments, let me know what you want me to build next. Um, anything, anything, I will build it to that level of detail in a, in about, this is, I think, two months of Let's Plays, actually. I'll try and build them a bit faster next time. Maybe cut out a lot more. But that is the HMS HMS. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, come back next time, next weekend, when I build the next 
giant colossal waste of my life <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching ta -ra! download the map go to my website stuff advertising <laughs>